Today, I am making some brownies from a homemade recipe. Last time I made cookies and I said something incorrect and said that they were my great grandmother's. And I had to go against that after I found out. Now this recipe, this brownie recipe is my great grandmother's. I did confirm it with my mother beforehand. And um, it is very simple. There's only five ingredients and they're the best brownies they're just very very nice um standard not not necessarily extra fudgy or anything but yeah let's get let's get started with it first i'm going to start with uh some butter i've taken this butter and uh, set it out for probably about four hours now so it's it's uh, soft and room temperature um and which is which is definitely going to be Helpful. Here's some sugar, and that butter is so soft it shouldn't have any problems mixing. Start it off on low here. And in all the old recipes, I think I mentioned this last time, and maybe this is a common baking term, but you're supposed to cream the butter and the sugar together. What this is what I'm assuming creaming may, means. See, now once I get to that point, I feel like that's cream, creamed together. I uh, will add the other wet ingredients, which is some eggs. Get those mixed in. See how incredibly simple this is? That's already three ingredients. Move that and get that mixed up nice. Alright, I think that's mixed pretty good. Okay. I've always learned from other cooking shows or whatever that uh, you're supposed to add flour, it helps to just add it in sections. Adding the whole thing could just complicate it, it makes it a lot easier just to add the flour in uh, in parts see oh see I'm already starting to spill over a little bit again part of the reason why you don't add all the flour and then just kind of pulsate till that's mixed in see if I'd have added all that flour it would have spilled out even more so it's a good thing I didn't and that was on the lowest setting so yeah also learn that lesson if you're making something Add your flour in uh, parts. You know, one part, there's a two part, and then a three. That way you don't have that problem of the flour spilling out too much. And it's really not going to affect the recipe at all. There's the rest of the flour. See? Four ingredients down already. Very, very simple recipe. If you can't tell, I'm sick with a cold right now. It kind of sucks, but hopefully these brownies will make me feel better. And then just straight cocoa powder, 100% cocoa powder, unsweetened. And we definitely don't want to lose any of this, so I'm going to pulsate it. Oops, see, a little bit blow up, but... See this dust cloud of delicious chocolate? Okay, I'm gonna mix that up nice. Let it all mix up to get incorporated in, in itself. really like having this mixer. Alright, yeah, that's looking good. Oh, and it smells fantastic. Oh, 
wow it looks look how light it looks gonna make for some nice delicious brownies and uh, I'm actually normally I mean you really can add whatever you want to normally these my mother always just straight brownies occasionally I think she may have added some nuts I mean you can you can add nuts I'm actually gonna add some um, after I get this panned up I'm actually gonna add some chocolate chips that I have just to kind of add a little extra just test it out I'm not gonna do the whole pan um, so that will be next I'll get it in the a pan a baking dish preheat the oven for 350 and we'll get these baking all right here I've uh, sprayed the pan down and uh, put the batter in there this batter is actually very thick so you will have to take a spatula spread it out kind of get a spoon and smooth it out the best you can um, I, I, as I said earlier, I'm going to actually just flare this up a little bit with some uh, some chocolate chips. I'm going to do some chocolate chips in the middle here. And these should mostly kind of sink in as it's cooking. Um, but I'm also just going to press them in a little bit to help it out a little bit. And then just for fun, I mean it's going to taste good, I know it. But I'm going to I'm gonna put some white chocolate chips so we have three sections here some uh, plain some white chocolate and uh, some milk chocolate so I think it'll be add a little extra deliciousness to it can't hurt I, I would think and then again preheat the oven for 35 minutes or sorry 350 for 25 minutes sorry I'm gonna pop that in and uh, have some delicious brownies. Okay, I've just pulled this out of the oven and um, it's very important to note that no matter what the instructions say, you go by how it looks, how done you want it. I know that sometimes brownies, um, you know, my wife actually likes them really gooey and it's delicious that way. And if you want a more firm, like a standard brownie, just get it to that point. I actually ended up doing about 31 minutes um, and you do the whole fork test, you know, it's clean, which means I'm gonna have a very, see, mostly clean. I'm gonna have a very firm brownie, which I, I, I want. It'll still be soft, but it's not gonna be gooey at all. And uh, make it the way you want it. Be prepared to test it. And another important thing is every oven's different unless you have a really expensive one. So you need to turn halfway through, I turned it so that. It, it, it's uniform it gets because the front is always going to be having the door on the front is always going to be a little cooler unless you have a really expensive oven which I don't so that's it brownies see you next time YouTube